so I just ruined my favorite pair of like gray underwear so I'm just gonna like jump right into this so basically my period was late okay the current date right now is February 18th and it is currently 9.02 a.m. so my period was due on the 10th okay so I was like oh I'm not gonna get my period till March because usually like when I miss a period it usually like doesn't come for like the next cycle and even my flow app it was saying I'm late for four days hello <laughs> But now on day like, I don't know what day of my cycle this is, like day 30. Hello. Can you focus? I'm so sorry. I'm having camera difficulties, guys. I'm on day 30 something and I woke up this morning and you know like when you kind of stretch in bed like, yeah, I did that and it was like, and I didn't know if it was my period or just sweat from like sleeping or whatever But then I got up and I didn't want to have to go to the bathroom and look So I just like pulled down my pants next to my bed and in the dark I saw a stain on my like gray underwear Oh also my nails are red for Valentine's Day I painted them like four days ago for Valentine's Day I think it's really funny that now my nails are red for my period day in my life So yeah, and I also wore these you can't see them, but they're like light pink pajama pants I don't know how they didn't get stained. I'm like look I spoke too soon, um... <laughs> show blood on the internet but basically just imagine the typical period stain in between the crotch of your pants no if i can't get the stain out i'm gonna be so upset i love these pants so much i have to go give them to my mom she knows how to get the stain out i'm not showing you the stain but this is what the pants look like and there is a stain on them okay so the plan is i'm going to get my mom to spray these as soon as possible so i'm going to go do that and i'm going to take some toilet paper for now while i don't have any underwear on and i'm going to like wedge it in that area so that nothing leaks like while i'm walking mommy can you please spray this like right now? I didn't think I ruined my pants, but I ruined my pants too. Put them on the thing. So hi guys, it's kind of bright, but I'm just opening my blinds now. But yeah, my mom's gonna spray everything that I stained with spray and wash or whatever. So if you're watching this, mom, thank you so much for always doing this for me. Anyway, I'm just getting some black underwear now. And I also need to get new pants. Ooh, here we go for the period pants time. <laughs> This is my favorite part of my period because if you watched all my other period days in my life, you know, you know that it's time for the infamous, iconic period pants. So I'm gonna get them. Here they are. Oh, I love them so much. They're so, so soft and obviously nothing is going to leak through these. I'm like on a creek on my floor right now. So yeah, I'm gonna take this and my new pair of black underwear and I'm going to go to the bathroom and put this on with a pad, obviously. Also, by the way, thank God I put that toilet paper between my legs when I was like walking around because it's completely red. Like the toilet paper was white and now it's completely red. Oh, and also before I changed my pad and everything, I did want to log my period in my flow app just to, like make sure I got that covered. So I'm going to log period for today. Predictions updated. Day one. So now I'm going to go get my pad. And if you've watched my other period days in my life, you know that my mom keeps like this pad drawer. So I'm just going to take, oh my God, I took two. I'm just going to take a regular pad for now. I will link this brand like of pads I use down below the description it's like the target up and up brand i'm really gonna miss the feeling this whole week of not having a diaper between my legs now that my pad and underwear is on my period underwear it's not like period underwear but it's like my period underwear if you know what i mean i'm gonna put on my period pants ah these are so soft you can't get it out I'm gonna wipe and get out of here. I'm so upset right now, guys. Also, I probably should have like known my period was coming because like if you can see, my forehead's been really acting up and I've just been so like hungry but like also nauseous and just completely pms -y. So I'm just, I should have worn black underwear this whole week. Time to leave the bathroom. I'm in my room now and I'm about to eat breakfast, but I did want to just like kind of mark my period on my physical calendar now. It's just so important to like really keep track of your period like anywhere you possibly can. So I'm gonna mark this on the 18th. Little P, I don't know if you can see it right there. And so yeah, there's that. So I just wanted to tell you that my period could not have come at the worst time. Can I just, <laughs> today I have a tennis class for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours of playing tennis. That's not gonna be fun. I also have tons of algebra work, tons of biology work. I don't know how I'm gonna stay motivated to do this, but uh, you don't 
don't even know what's happening tomorrow guys i'm having my first sleepover with my best friend since before the pandemic because cases are like getting a little better after omicron and everything and we're both vaccinated fully but anyway that's besides the point i'm gonna be on date two of my period on their sleepover it's gonna be over at my house but still <laughs> i thought i'd actually be able to enjoy myself anyway i need to like stop moping i already have my algebra notes from last night i didn't finish them i need to do that i also need to eat breakfast and just so i'm just gonna do that and then like kind of get ready for my day oh and by the way i also just got invisalign if you can hear me talking a little bit weirdly and yeah i just wanted to bring that up in case you saw like weird bumps on my teeth or anything like that hello can you just focus thank you <laughs> Ruby here. I just wanted to pop in and tell you guys that this video is sponsored by Dossier, which is literally my favorite perfume brand like ever. I've been sponsored by them many, many times before, and you know this like if you've watched my past videos, but they were so kind to send me another one of their perfumes so that I can like review it for you guys and like tell you if it's a really good scent and everything. This perfume was like actually being shipped to me like when I filmed this period day in my life, so I couldn't use it yet. But like I just wanted to say that using a good perfume and like especially just buying from a good perfume brand when you're like feeling really just like down and like ugh annoyed when you're on your period or just like any day when you're a teenager wearing a good perfume especially like a really nice dossier perfume that will make your day that will make you feel so much more self-confident so I did want to just tell you guys that this video is sponsored by dossier so dossier is a fragrance company that reproduces classic high-end luxury scents at a fraction of the price 70 to 90 percent less keeping the exact same high quality by cutting all of the expenses and the infamous brand tax what you can find in luxury brands from $100 to $350 you could get a dossier from $29 Dollars. Dossier also has a risk-free system allowing their customers to try their perfumes before committing to them. Because this brand like acknowledges that perfumes are personal so they're like not gonna take it personally if a scent that you buy isn't for you. Within a standard 30-day return period, customers can return any unsealed Dossier 50 milliliter perfume bottle and either exchange it for a different scent or just get a full refund no questions asked. I would also like to say that like when you're looking for perfume like when you're a teenager obviously it's so hard to like find a perfume brand that like you can trust is like really environmentally friendly and just like good for like you breathing it in in general but if you buy a perfume from dossier you don't have to worry about that at all because their perfume is colorant and uv filter free vegan and cruelty free and also free from all toxic chemicals enjoying clean ethically sourced long lasting and high-end perfume is possible if you buy from dossier so now i'm going to unbox the scent that they were so kind to send to me and the scent that i got is the floral marshmallow scent because like i'm just a sucker for marshmallows like in general so i wanted to see like how marshmallow perfume would smell so i'm going to take this out here's the perfume and oh my god i love the bottle like so much it's just like so sleek and like you can see the perfume so now i'm going to smell this every single time i buy a dossier perfume i'm like it can't get better than this like literally this is my new favorite perfume i don't know if you can see over there but those are like some of the other perfumes that i have received from dossier and i'm so excited to add this to my shelf so i'm going to add this to my perfume shelf there we go. I will include the link to the floral marshmallow perfume and also to Dossier's website down below in the description box so you can go like either buy the perfume that I showed in this video or go pick your own. But for whatever scent that you end up getting from Dossier, please make sure to use my discount code RUBIX10 to get a 10% discount on your order. There are also other great bulk deals on their website. You can get up to 25% off and you can also get free shipping if you buy three or more bottles of the Dossier perfume, obviously. They are always adding new scents to their collections and they are also always thrilled to take suggestions from new customers for future releases. So thank you so, 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 so much to Dossier for sponsoring this video and for sending me yet another one of their amazing perfumes. And anyway, let's get back to the period day in my life. I don't know if this is just me, but like, do you enjoy the times like when you're not on your period? Like obviously you do. And by the way, I'm so sorry I look like this. I'm just freezing. I always get so cold when I'm on my period. But like when you're off your period, you just go about your day like not having a diaper between your legs and like cramps and blood pouring out of you. And then you get your period and you're like, wow, I really should have like enjoyed that more. And I have to deal with this for a week. I'm just so 
upset that this is like ruining all my plans. Periods always ruin all my plans. Anyway, I have to get back to algebra now, so I will see you guys later when I do something that's like actually interesting. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's like almost 12 p.m. now, which means lunch time. So I'm just eating a burrito and then I also have some salad in here. And I'm just so excited to eat because I feel so weak right now. Like, do you know that feeling like when you're on your period and you just like feel shaky and like weak and just like you need to eat because like you're losing so much fluid and like blood obviously from your uterus? Yeah, I really need to eat right now <laughs> and I'm finished my algebra work So I think I'm just gonna do like biology or whatever later. And so yeah, I'm just gonna start eating. Hey guys, so I'm in the bathroom now and now it's time for my second pad change and I'm actually gonna be putting on an overnight pad because like in an hour I'm actually playing tennis and then I'm playing tennis again at four. This is gonna be so much fun. I don't even know how I'm gonna work up the motivation to exercise so much when I'm on my period. <laughs> <laughs> I've been exercising a lot lately, which I hear can make your periods lighter, so this might not be an entirely heavy period. However, it's already starting off fairly heavy. I mean, it's like really light. The first day is always really light for me, so it's like not as much blood as I usually get when like my period is really heavy. So I'm just gonna be grateful for that right now. And yeah, I always wear overnight pads when I exercise. They just ensure you like so much more coverage. You know what I mean? Okay, now it's time to work on biology homework until I have to go to tennis. I'm so tired. My energy just feels so, so drained on the first day of having my period. have tons of biology work to do before my tennis class. I don't know how I'm gonna stay motivated to do all this schoolwork while I'm gushing blood out of my body. My period's getting heavier, which is <laughs> not fun at all. But anyway, I'm gonna put this pad on. You also need to drink this right now. I can't. As soon as it cools down, okay? This is disgusting, this desk. It's really disgusting. It's not normal to have a desk like that. You have like an inch of space on your desk. sweatpants in case you get cold okay. makes sense right wear shorts in your t-shirt and a vest and bring your sweatpants and your hat and your sunglasses and water okay, okay i think that's it <laughs> Love you. Love you. Hey guys, so I'm home from tennis and oh boy was it a really, really, really bad idea to play tennis for two straight hours while I'm on my period. I feel dizzy, weak, shaky, and and my pad. I don't think I've seen a bigger murder scene in my entire life. I honestly, like on the car ride home, I had the worst cramps in my life. Like it felt like what I imagined giving birth to feel like. Like I actually had to like and like deal with the pain, it was so bad. So that probably means that lots of blood is about to come pouring out of me very, very soon. And so yeah, my family's getting dinner, takeout for dinner or something like that And I have tons of biology work waiting for me still <laughs> 
Well, this has not been the most fun day in my life, of course. I mean, it's a period in my life, so why would it be fun? I definitely want to try to go to bed kind of early because I know we'll be up late tomorrow and I just need to get as much schoolwork done as possible. Even though I literally just feel like watching Grey's Anatomy and eating dark chocolate and just eating, eating, eating. Anyway, that's the update. I'm changing my pad now. Here is the new pad. Thank you so much for existing pad. I don't know what I would do without you. I love you. Okay, guys, it is time to go do biology work. So much fun. Hey guys, so my family got Chinese food for dinner. I am so happy. I love Chinese food so much. So I'm really excited to eat this. Let's try it. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, this is so good. I literally try to do schoolwork and then I always end up on TikTok instead. Do you understand? Like, I don't know if maybe this is just like for people who like have periods or whatever, but you know when you're on your period or just like any time in life and like you're just so completely unmotivated, like you can't bring yourself to do what you need to do. That is me. I'm gonna continue going on TikTok because I'm lazy. Okay, I know I keep saying this, but like... And by the way, sorry for my like really weird ponytail, but you know when you're on your period and you like use the bathroom and like use the toilet or whatever, I mean you like get up from the toilet and you look in the toilet and it quite literally looks like you took like a ketchup packet and just like all inside the toilet. That is literally what I'm dealing with right now. And I'm only on day one. <laughs> But honestly, I love like doing a period day in my life like on day one because in my opinion It's kind of the worst day like next to day two just because like your body's getting used to having a period again It's such a horrible feeling. So yeah I hope you guys have so far enjoyed like the day one depiction of having a period because it's not fun at all Anyway, I'm going to stop ranting and I will update you guys next time something interesting happens Which might not be for a while. So anyway, bye for now <laughs> I'm sorry to keep ranting, but like as I said, I think I said this earlier in the video But like I'm having a sleepover with my best friend tomorrow And by the way, we're gonna be filming like a best friend Q&A tag or whatever So if you're interested in seeing that definitely subscribe or like just stay tuned for that But I can't believe I'm gonna be on day two during our sleepover <laughs> My period like always comes at the worst time like I have the worst luck when it comes to like when I get my period Like it always comes on like a holiday or like something exciting coming up, but like I don't want my period to ruin I'm going to take my shower now and oh my god, I'm so excited showering is my favorite thing ever ever when I'm on my period just because like you know like you just feel like so gross and like obviously like bloody down there you know what I mean and like showering cures it showering and like the warm water it just solves it it helps all your period pain it makes you feel like a whole new clean fresh person when you're on your period I know that sounds like really weird but like I love showering when I'm on my period comment down below if you can relate Hey guys, I'm out of the shower. I'm about to put a pad on. Let me fix this camera angle. Oh my god. So I just wanted to like bring something up because I don't know if this is like normal or Sorry, that's like my shower draining. I don't know if this is normal or like if something's wrong with me But does anyone get like pelvic floor pain when they're on their period? I don't know if you might not know what that means But like the bones down there like the muscles down there like it hurts like when I'm standing like I need to be like sitting down Like it hurts like it feels like there's like pressure Maybe that's just like period pain and like hormones or whatever. Anyway, comment down below if you can relate I don't know if I'm normal at all. Time to open this pad I've said this before I think on my channel like in my period days of my life and I will say it again There is no better feeling than putting on a fresh clean pad after taking a nice fresh clean shower and feeling all fresh and clean that is a total of three times i have said each word i'm going to go watch some tv with my mom now and we're probably just gonna have snacks and stuff and it's awesome because like it'll really distract me from like the period pain i always get like at the end of the day because like i've been going like running around all day and everything and being busy so now like i'm in a lot of like discomfort pain just exhaustion in general because of my period <laughs>
Hey guys, so as you saw, like I just brushed my teeth and everything and so I'm actually just going to end my period day in my life here because like I'm about to go to bed, it's like past midnight now and I'm really exhausted, like I can barely keep my eyes open. Day one is so draining like of your period because your body's just trying to like get used to having a period after not having had it for like a few weeks. So yeah, I've been like really going through it today. I'm excited for some well-deserved sleep because like honestly you deserve to like get sleep and like rest and relax when you're on your period, especially when you're on your period. I mean you should be able to do that all the time, but anyway. I had a lot of fun filming this period day in my life. I mean, my periods are so like painful and stressful, but like something that really makes them feel better is just like being able to talk to a camera and like know I'm talking to you guys and we can just like all relate to each other about like periods and how annoying they can be. I'm gonna change into my overnight pad like right after filming this outro. But anyway, before you leave, please like this video. And if you made it to the end of this video, comment down below day one sucks because honestly, a lot of people say day two sucks and day two does suck. Like honestly, it is bad because it's like heavier and more cramps usually, but like day one is like the settle in day and it's like ugh you just feel so tired and gross and whatever and also please subscribe to my youtube channel because if you did not know i make so many other period videos so many more of like these period days in my life period weeks in my life i have like a whole playlist of all my period vlogs on my channel and i'm planning on doing like really new and like cool additions of them in the future i'm not gonna reveal those ideas to you guys yet but definitely make sure to subscribe so you can like stay tuned and like stick around for more of these and yeah that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching it and i love you guys. Bye!